short video on how to cleanse your energy and the energy of your place. Um, first of all, with 5G, which obviously it's a reality, there is one stone, there are several stones that can work um, with regards to keeping the energy of your body and of your place uh, clear. But one thing that is I believe most in is uh, Shungite. So you can have it as a jewelry and you can have it in every room, a piece of Shungite, and also especially at the Wi-Fi router, nearby your Wi-Fi router. Um, what else? Direction of your bed, of the head of your bed, like how you sleep, it should always be south in order not to drain your energy. It can be east as well. Never, um, never north, never towards the west. Uh, sage or anything else. I prefer sage, but anything else if you're maybe, um, maybe Palo Santo, anything. Every day, every single day, you light the sage up, maybe in the morning or before you go to bed, at least once a day, you go through every room. I used to actually make um, Reiki symbols in the room, like really design them with the sage. I don't do that anymore, but I simply put the intention that uh, this space is protected for the next 24 hours. And of course, you can make it for, four, for 48 as well. And then you place sage from the top of your head, kind of swing it down towards the earth. Don't worry, nothing will happen to the, to the earth. She will just cleanse the energy. Don't forget your arms. Don't forget under your feet. Don't, for, don't forget your palms. So you basically swipe your whole body with sage to cleanse your energy. Uh, when you meditate, direction always east. So when you um, when you sleep, direction of your head is south. When you meditate, direction is east. Cutting cords before bed. So before bed, I have a video of how to cut cords, but very shortly, you basically imagine cords coming out of your body, you cut them and you can also burn them. Violet flame is super, super duper um, useful in this case. And it cleans your aura, it cleans the whole energy. So if you can imagine the violet flame burning you and then burning your whole space, it will clear your whole space basically. Crystals in general in all the rooms are super important, uh, but especially selenite in each corner of your room, in the four corners, in order to make you grounded. Uh, if you can, a Himalayan salt lamp. I have two because I basically have two main rooms. Um, so Himalayan salt lamp is really important for your energy. And if you can, Himalayan salt bath. Not every day, it dries out your skin, but it clears your energy, so maybe once a week. I don't have a bathtub, so what I do is that I put water in, uh, in a bucket. When I'm done with the showering and everything, I put some Himalayan salt, I throw it over my body, never the head, and uh, that's about it. Maybe once a week. Um, I think I covered everything. Yes, one last thing, since I, I felt it yesterday. So I do all these things, but still yesterday, last night, I felt that there was some um, darker energy, not as bad, just dark. Um, it just needs love, basically, in around me. So what I did is that I increased my light because wherever there is light and love, they cannot resist. I gave it love and I just sat. I am a sovereign being, I have free will, so I command you to leave my space now. I said it several times until it actually left, because uh, you are actually a being with free will. You are born like that. It is, it is in your DNA. So they cannot do anything, but if you if you feel something and you start getting scared, then it can be a bit fucked up because they they kind of uh, feed on your fear. So there is some other ways, but they are not my ways. I haven't, I'm kind of playing around with them. I've learned them from Shaman Durek, so you can check him up. Uh, he spins some, anyways, I don't wanna go into that because they are not, uh, something I've really integrated, but if you want to know more, check him out. They seem to be quite uh, quite useful as well. 
So basically, whenever there is something, you have done all of this and there's, you still feel that there is something in your space. Can you just tell it? I have free will. I have free will. I'm a sovereign being. Put light and love to the energy and command them to leave your space. So I hope this is not too much out there. For me, I wished when I started uh, awakening and all sorts of energies were attaching to me and I wasn't aware what the hell was going on. Even in my third eye and everything, and I really didn't have someone to get my hand and pull me through that. I really would have loved for someone to tell me this. This is why I'm sharing it with you. And if it doesn't resonate, if you think that I'm cuckoo, might, maybe one day you will understand that actually I'm not. I'm just an empath that feels absolutely everything and had to learn how to protect herself. Um, so if you feel like that, then it's, it's fine. Don't hate me. Just don't listen to me. Um, and I hope I hope it can help someone out there. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Okay, last thing. Sorry guys, this is just at the moment and I don't want to do another recording because I want to jump on my mat. Uh, another very important uh, stone is uh, black tourmaline for protection. Yes, black tourmaline. I mean, you can use all the other stones. I have tons of stones, tons of crystals, but, but black tourmaline. And uh, shundrite, shundrite, sorry. Shungite, Shungite, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They are super duper right now. Yes, I think this is all with regards to the energy. Sending you so much love. Take care.